Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing a review on the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Um, I really wanted to do this review because I saw a campaign and it seemed like they would go dark enough for our skin tone. So I'm going to try it out and we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and jump us straight into this review now. Okay, so the foundation is the Ultra HD Foundation. It feels like second skin but still provides medium coverage and light diffusing formula. It looks natural and makes skin look flawless and feel moisturized. Exclusive 4K complex guarantees invisible, natural, and comfortable makeup. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this. Now I'm going to set that with the RCMA setting powder. Alright, so there it is. I'm going to go ahead and do a few things for a couple hours and I'm going to come back and show you guys what I liked and what I didn't like about this foundation. Alrighty guys, I'm back. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I liked and what I didn't like about this foundation. So I'm going to start with coverage. For the coverage, instead of supposed to be medium coverage, um, I think I got more of a light coverage. It feels like I don't have anything on, so I really like that about the formula. Um, it does. It did come with like a more of a matte finish, and I'm not more into. I'm not uh, crazy about the matte finish because it's just. I have uh, really dry skin, so like I said, so it was more of a matte finish. I got shiny around the normal spots, but it's not as much as I'm usually expecting. Um, it did crease a little bit, but nowhere near as much as I'm used to either, so I really like that about the formula. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I guess we'll just jump straight into the elephant in the room. Um, I feel like I look dead. Like, my skin looks so dull because, um, I don't think the foundation with my undertone, it seemed like I had more of a yellow undertone versus red and I feel like it makes me look a little dead. I don't know if it's because the foundation was a few shades too light for me or if it was just because it was the wrong undertone. Um, I honestly don't know, like, I don't know, I don't, I, it does look a few shades like maybe too light for me. So that's really disappointing because I was like really expecting it to like be like, I was expecting it to be somewhere around my skin tone because of the campaign that was going around and it seemed like it had someone on there that would be a little bit closer to my skin tone. I think it might be either it's two shades too light or maybe it's just not my undertone, which is fine. Um, I actually appreciate that they actually have a different undertone because normally with darker skin tones, they typically go towards the towards the redder side so I appreciate that it's not the red undertone um, so if it's like if so if you have two if you're like maybe two or three shades lighter than me and you have more of the yellow undertone this would be probably perfect for you um, it just didn't work for me because of my undertones and um, I think it didn't go dark enough I think I really just think it might be just the undertones I'm not sure honestly it just didn't work for me but if it is just the undertone um, it definitely would work for someone that is around the same skin tone as me and you just have a different undertone like you have the yellow undertones but for me like I said didn't work um, so yeah I think that's all I have for this foundation um, the formula was nice maybe just a few shades darker or just a different undertone for me personally but for someone else it might be perfect so that's it thank you guys so much for tuning in I'll see you guys next time and lots of love.